time for another month. So, uh, I will show you all of these inserts at a later date, but basically I used to have all of my months in here, but I want to try out a new monthly. So I'm going to be moving stuff onto this new insert that I just got in my Peanuts Planner Co. haul. So you can see these two are actually really similar. Um, just dating all of the months or all of the dates. Uh, this is like that example of the, uh, the month that takes exactly five rows, you know, like a little bit longer. This is the, the longest possible month to fit on a grid calendar if you do Sunday start, which I do do Sunday start for grid calendars, even though I do Monday start for my weeks. I just, I plan from a Monday to Sunday week, but I, uh, I like just to have the grid with the weekends on the ends. So I'm just doing a little bit of decorating here. Let's use some green. I was, I did pull out everything that is like red and green for a whole Christmassy theme, but then decided to just go with a green theme here. So cutting with an index card, as is pointed out, I really should be doing this. So here we go. Rip the paper a little bit. These stickers are from Hobby Lobby. Uh, there we go. They're all very cute. I'll probably be using some of these in my weeklies and things as we go through towards Christmas. This little box is going to be for milestones that my baby hits, um, just because I like keeping track of that. So she's five months old this month, as of the second, which is very exciting, my goodness. She's growing so fast. So on the left here, I'm having all of the events for the month. So I'm just filling in a couple. There's not that many. Highlighting the weekends so I can keep track of, uh, you know, what day of the week a day is a little bit easier. Same thing on the other side. Sorry about my head popping into the frame. I do kind of want to pay attention to what I'm doing and sometimes I have to get close. This tape fits really well uh, in the, the date boxes. I don't remember if this is, I don't know how many millimeter tape it is, but took a risk on the lettering and it turned out okay. So we have, yes, events on one side and tasks on the other. And I'm just moving this stuff over from the previously done monthly. Trying out a monthly tracker this month since it's on here instead of typing or <laughs> writing out the same tracked items every single week. Uh, I'm trying out a monthly tracker. In the past, monthly trackers have been too much and I've wanted to switch them up before the end of the month, but I've been doing the same things for several weeks in a row, so I figured I would give it a shot here. Um, there are more than one item per day on my previous monthly, so I kind of smushed it around a little bit to get it to fit one per line here. It's not going to be a big deal. And then just being able to add things on like a one line per day. I think that's, I think that's going to work. It is a little bit tight. And then I only have one thing on my to-do list right now that doesn't have a date, but that's what that's for. Put in a couple extra things, just, you know, holidays, obviously I know when Christmas is, but and then I might be putting some dots on the calendar, or <laughs> I am putting a dot in the calendar. And I'm not sure if I'll be color coding. I might be, but that's just sort of to mark. Hey, look, here's a date, you know, a date with a thing. That particular date is when we're going to a thing at the church. So now I'm marking off the days that I have off work, not the weekends, obviously, because I always have those off work. But you see, you know, we get Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve off. And it's just nice to be able to see at a glance which days I'm going to be home up that are outside of the usual. So that is about it. Just putting everything away. I have my monthly section here and I'll be showing you this in a future video. But until then, see ya.